All right, we are going to talk about how to connect to the TechCom server from your computer. Um, if your computer has different login information than, you know, your EID, which mine does not, my EID and actually my login is the same on my computer as it is for everything else. But if you have different login credentials, I'm going to show you how to um, log in. So what you want to do is you want to go to map network drive and there's a couple of different ways that are described in the handout that I gave you but the way I like to do it is I open up my computer and I right click on the network and I go to map network drive I know it's kind of off the screen for you guys but trust me it's it's there if you click on that it brings up a dialog box now I'm going to connect using different credentials um, so you can see what that looks like but first I'm going to come to the handout that I gave you and I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to paste it right here and then you probably don't have to use connect using different credentials because your user EID will be different your username on your computer will be different but I'm going to do this so you can see what comes up when you do it if I click finish it will ask me for a username now your username is your EID but you have to enter Austin forward slash before you put that in and then you put in your um, your UT password here and then click OK all right and then it will it should connect I'm not going to do that I actually don't need this because of my login is the same as my EID so I'm just going to hit finish here and you'll see on my PC it'll actually or actually it opens this up immediately it figures you want to go there when you get there go ahead and double click on class files and put a folder in there um, for your work all right um, there are there's a folder that I have in here um, that has some resources and stuff in it that you're welcome to access this is all open to you but please be conservative about the files that you save up here and be responsible about that so we can continue to have this access mostly we have it so you can do file sharing with Revit uh, work sharing with Revit okay um, if you want to connect to the VPN network at home when you're working on Revit what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to activate two-factor identification if you've not done so already and then you're gonna have to go to this web address and log in and it will download a VPN client onto your computer and you'll have to install it um, in order to access the VPN network, you, it will ask for two-factor identification, so you will need to do that. Um, so I've sent you this sort of handout, and I hope that that's helpful. Um, we can try to work out any issues that you might have on Tuesday. All right.